What is an architecture or anarchist architecture? This is what human habitation will soon look like. It will look like the end of industrial civilization. It will look like the abandonment of unsustainable infrastructure. It will look like the natural world bursting through the cracks in the asphalt and rewilding the environment. It will look like humans reintegrating with all the other indigenous species of the planet. The future of anarchist architecture will be beautiful and glorious. This is present-day architecture. It is the library at the University of Toronto, built in 1973. I was also born in Toronto in 1973. I grew up middle class. I was living the North American dream. By the time I was 25, I had a good job as a graphic designer. But then the millennium. November 1999, the Battle of Seattle. Thousands of courageous people protesting in the streets, shattering the spell we were under. We were taught from an early age that if we just kept doing what we were told, that life would keep getting better. But it didn't, and we started to notice. We found out that our food was being poisoned, and the land, sea, and air were being poisoned, and our bodies and souls were being poisoned too. And we were being lied to. The people in power didn't give a damn about us. Their job was to keep us quiet so the pillaging could continue unhindered. And advertising was part of the problem, which is to say that I was part of the problem. As a graphic designer, my job was to convince people to buy more products. All this advertising just causes unnecessary consumption, which creates ecological destruction, which creates social suffering. And this is not what I was born for. So one day, I just left it all behind. A profitable job, comfortable apartment. I left the city with all of its conveniences. I went out into the desert, far from civilization. I live in a small village of only a couple hundred people. And to pay for my room and board, I became an organic farmer. Decided to simplify my life, make it more meaningful, just get back to basics. I wanted to have direct relationships with the things that are the most important. Food, clothes, and shelter. There's a lot of awareness about how to have healthy food, healthy clothes, but what exactly is healthy shelter? What's wrong with architecture? I decided to go out and find out for myself, using my design skills for good instead of evil. So I left the little village and spent the next several years crisscrossing the globe, trying to find the answer to the question, what is the most ecological building material? And it turns out that the answer is Earth, the very Earth itself. So I made a full-length feature documentary about it called First Earth, Uncompromising Ecological Architecture. Filmed over four years in eight countries on four continents, First Earth is not a how-to film, but a why-to film. It's about a massive paradigm shift for shelter, building healthy houses in the old ways, just like they did in the old days. It proposes that homes made from clay, sand, and straw into cob, adobe bricks, and rammed earth are the healthiest houses in the world. From third world communities to first world countrysides, from Arabian deserts to American urban jungles. In the age of financial and ecological collapse and converging emergencies, we need to get back to Earth. For material reasons and spiritual reasons, for personal reasons and political reasons, we need to get back to Earth. There's so much work to be done to bring this better world into being. But before anything else, first Earth. Available on DVD or download for PM Press.